Here at the PMOS Super Chat PMOS booth with Nick James looking at his truck, checking out the uh, lights, the turbo kit, the 80 pound injectors he didn't put on. <laughs> Thank God. The truck looks real sharp, looks real good, man. You've seen it a lot on his uh, Facebook page of him uh, working on it, slowly chugging along. Looks really good. Who had the interior? Who, who did the interior work? We did it, but they're seat, new leather from a company called, uh, I believe it's leatherseats.com. You get to pick the colors, how you want the colors laid out. Right. They send you new seat covers and you pull the And it's And off. it's all-wheel drive, not four-wheel drive, right? It's all-wheel drive, no. all it's drive. a transfer case from an 07 to 11 Lincoln Navigator. And that's all you had to do? Just put a different no. transfer case? No. <laughs> we had to do some crazy stuff with Ford IDS to make everything talk to itself oh. and make the four-wheel drive work. Cause that transfer case doesn't have blow range. It has two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive lock, and four-wheel drive auto. Oh, okay. So, so you made an all-wheel drive, all drive lightning, essentially, yeah. turbo. Yeah, and it's got some crazy parts to make it this slow as four-wheel drive. Really? So, yeah, like what? Tie rod ends from some strange BMW. Oh, really? How's the exhaust routed? Huh? How's the exhaust? Horribly. Well, who cares? But it works. It works. There's not a lot of room to fit all that and still have it come out in front of the back tire. <laughs> That's cool, man. I love it. Or get very close. Close. To it. Really close. <laughs> really F one fifty map housing has to be uh, this tight due to uh, clearance issues. Very nice. One hundred twenty millimeter. Yeah, and it's being equivalent. So they have a transfer function. Do you, <laughs> does this come with a transfer function? Yeah. Huh? Injection molded nylon, so it's repeatable. <laughs> what size OD is this? It's five inch, five inch, five inch equivalent for a couple. So, in a regular voice, tell me about the 11 to 14 and how much power gains have you seen over stock? <laughs> okay, uh, they're numbers that nobody's going to believe. So, okay. I'm telling people that it makes 20 horse to the ground without touching this truck on a bone stock truck. Um, we did turn off cat protection and the speed limiter to tow dyno the truck, so okay. I can't say it was completely stock, but we did do those things to the poles. Right. Right. Um, so that is a no-tune required version? No-tune required. Put it on the truck and it honestly makes it 24 hours. Holy shit, on an 11 to... We, we pulled it three times to make sure we weren't wrong. On an 11 to 14 F-150 Coyote. Wow. Yeah, Badass. And this is the blower. Oh, you're starting to offer this now? Yeah, I really wanted to paint it, so we're like, all right, might as well. Got to paint it, yeah. Okay, so this is a 15 and up blower? up with a blower. Yep. This is 11 14 with a blower? Correct. And this is we Cobra Jet? That. No, because that's Camaro. So. Okay, Camaro? Okay, well, it's here in case you uh, LS boys want it. It's here. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> no, the coupling slid all the way up. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll cut that. Don't worry about it. I was making a speed density test. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Delete the map. No, it's not. I'll leave it in there then. <laughs> yeah, the 15 up kits are ready for the F 150s too. So. And they're in the new product showcase? Yep. I'll go over yep. and take a look yeah, at the those. EcoBoost and, uh, is right behind the two of those. Oh, and the cool thing about our EcoBoost kit is we're the only company that did the lower pipes. So our EcoBoost kit comes with the earbox, the wide pipe, and the lower pipes. So oh, wow. The no so shit. They sound really cool. Very cool. All right, thank you, Nick. No problem. Well, these guys are jibber jabbering. There's a. There's a man on the TV. <laughs> There's some fag on the TV. So it doesn't have like all serrated edges? Oh, no, it looks so smooth. Oh, look at that. So this is made, not. this is not metal. No, this is um, injection, high pressure injection molded glass filled nylon. Same transfer function so as your 120? Oh, shit. Well, it's really it's, a, it's within 1%. Within, oh, okay, so forget it. <laughs> Badass, look at that. So for you guys that complain about metal housings, boom, nylon, whatever the fuck. But look yep. how nice the map flange is. That's one thing that we tuners look at immediately where it's going to seal to make sure that has a good clean signal, no leaks or anything like that. Okay, so what we have here, Nick wanted me to look at is a 2017 Super Duty cold air intake. And he wanted me to show you everything about it. It's got a PMAS 149, same as is in the Donkey Dick. PMAS 149, this is the tube that's going to go, again, for 2017 Ford Super Duty. But one cool little thing besides the shield and everything is this little actuator door what's this actuator door you, for you say well a lot of you uh, guys complain about oh my god it's so hot you know IATs get hot at idle so what you can do at idle is close that door and it is programmable you can do it with the Bluetooth or whatever it's patented 
So it's programmable and you can close it and then if you set like throttle position or if you're mile an hour base or if you're rolling down the highway, you can open it up to get more air in that box. So an adjustable, tunable flap where it can stay closed at idle conditions and when you're rolling down the street to get some flow, open it up. Again, there's a reason I run PMAS. It's all science, not bullshit.